Good afternoon, Patrick here from Complete Health. I just wanted to share a story about myself and the fact that I am only human as well. So I'm currently, if those of you that don't know, trying to get my book finished and written. And I've had all of my my documents in different words with different references all over the place. Now, Word has a a system where you can actually reference your your work as you go along so that your notes are all in the right places. However, however, when you copy and paste, when you copy and paste your documents from different documents together, well, apparently the documents get confused and all of your references end up all over the place. So guess what? Almost a 150 page document, I'm having to go back through and redo every single one of the references. Which this morning was possibly the most stressful thing I've ever had to do. And I was at the point of verging on throwing the laptop out the window. But I didn't, by the way, the laptop is still in one piece and we're ready to go. But the point is, the moral of the story is, is that every single one of us is exposed to stress including myself, we all have stress. Now, typically stress should only affect us around 20% of the time. And the majority of us are living in a life where actually it's the flip. Stress is actually affecting us 80% of the time, not 20% of the time. Now, if you look at the stress response, it is designed to be there. It's designed for our own survival. However, we're pretty much the only species that we know of that can consciously turn their stress response on. And if you live in this period of stress for excessive lengths of time, it actually starts to affect the way that our health starts to work. However, there are some super easy things that actually help people to reduce the volumes of stress and therefore actually take a little bit more control back on how they feel. One, meditation. One of the easiest things to do is just take yourself away from the thing that's stressing you out, go to a quiet room, take some deep breaths and actually just try and focus on looking after yourself. Two, breath work. If any of you guys have actually heard of the guy Wim Hof, he's got some incredible videos and most of them are available for free on YouTube. You can actually find this guy's stuff on YouTube. Three, exercise. It's a super stress reliever. It increases your serotonin levels. It balances out your hormones. And again, it's super beneficial, but we are in the driver's seat. We are the one that chooses stress or rest. So if you're sat in that chronic state of stress for consistent periods of time, the only person that's allowing that is ourselves. Because we're the only one, like I say, we're the one that controls the thought. And we like to blame the external stimuli, but we're all in the same world. So why is it that some of us can look at the same world and seem really, really happy whilst another person is looking at the same world and really, really stressed. And it's the way that we view it. And Einstein always said this, we have the choice. You can see the world as happy or hostile, but it's your choice. Because two people will look out the window and they'll see the rain. And one will look and go, I wanted to go surfing. This is a bummer. And the other person will go, I'm a farmer. I don't have to water the crops. It saves me a boatload of cash. What a result. But we get to choose we get to choose. Like I say, take control. There are things that you can do that control, but also change the way that you view. So like I say, exercise, you can do meditation, you can do some breath work, or you can just change your perspective a little bit on the world. But I hope this helps you because like I say, I was at the point where I had to take some deep breaths because otherwise my laptop was going to end up on the street. It was going to end up on the street. Patrick here from Complete Health, wishing you a super happy day with no stress. See you guys in the clinic soon.